All right. So let's, let's get started here. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Untop Live. My name is Gabrielle Salen, and I'm on the application engineering team at Entopology. Um, in today's session, I'll be doing kind of a, somewhat of a continuation of my first Untop Live, in which I showed the manipulation of characteristics such as um, wall thickness and periodicity of a gyroid structure. And then I showed you how you could take it a step further by incorporating um, uh, analysis results to vary those parameters. So today I'm going to show off more ways to control the properties of a TPMS structure to create um, an optimal design. So in this first example, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a cube here, let's bump up the size of it, and I'm going to apply um, a wall TPMS structure to it. So here we have a uniform gyroid structure, and as I said in my previous on top live, I showed you how you could vary um, different parameters such as the wall thickness and periodicity using a ramp block. So now in this example, I'm going to use a ramp block within the bias length parameter of our geometry here. So let's do that. Let's go grab our ramp block. And I'm actually going to drag that into this approximate bias length. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to vary my structure, the bias length, along the y-axis. So I'm going to enter in y here. And then I have, I'm going to start entering in some values here. And then let's try negative 1.5 millimeter and 1.5 millimeters. So once I do that, you'll see that I now kind of varied my structure. And I'm by playing around with this bias length, I'm able to blend from um, a skeletal and sheet-based TPMS structure. So just again, playing with some values here, showing you how I can playing around with these values here. So here I'm just going to jump to another example, in which we have um, to share the screen, which we have, again, with the same example, I have different type of TPMS structures. So let's I have this variable called TPMS field, and by dragging in maybe like a diamond structure, we can blend this diamond structure. Let's try the short field. And there we go. So just kind of cool ways to manipulate our structure like that. So, so now we can vary um, wall thickness, bias length, periodicity, but I also want to show how we can control flow channels. So a really cool example of that is we have this workflow here in which we have this gyroid structure, and as you can see, we're curving around these, these points here. And I really like this example because this is when we start getting to the math tab of NTOP platform. So I'll walk you through what I did here. We start off by importing just this CAD part here. And what I did is I started selecting um, the sides of this part here. So I have side one, side two, I joined these sides together, I converted them to implicits, and then I have this, um, this variable that I called curvy math. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking my first side, subtracting my second side, and then dividing it by my first side um, and adding my second side. So I have this little equation here. You see equation S1 minus S2 over S1 plus S2. And then I created this large um, TPMS structure in which I'll be able to manipulate this TPMS structure using this curvy math little equation I have going here. And the way I'm doing so is again, varying in the Y direction. So we see our part um, curving in this Y direction. And so that's how I wanna manipulate my structure. So that's what I did um, here. So we have this curvy gyroid. And let me just show you the field viewer so we can actually see what these channels look like. So turn off this view. And you can see I have my gyroid structure 
and forming to these curves. So now we can take this concept and apply it to a real application, such as this more advanced heat exchanger. And we have this more complex flow path um, indicated by these blue lines, but as you can see, we can still tailor um, our gyroid structure to conform to this more curvy, um, complex shape. So I kind of laid the foundation of a couple more ways that we can um, have complete control of our geometry, but really just scratching the surface of the power of NTOP platform. Um, once you get once you get started, get it start getting a feel of how you can use fields to transform different parameters, um, or start incorporating like the math equations up here. Again, jumping into this math tab, um, you can really start unlocking more power of NTOP platform. If you want to dive deeper into these concepts, our CTO Blake Corder actually did a really great NTOP Live a little while ago going over periodic structures with multiple domains for like heat transfer and other applications that I definitely suggest you all check out. Um, before I end, open it up to questions, I just want to remind everyone that this video is being recorded and will be posted later on our YouTube site if you want to go back and reference it. Um, so now let's get into questions. Just again, playing with these different parameters here, and you can see my field viewer um, start to update these changes. So someone asked, can I use simulation results as a ramp? Yes, you can. Um, again, if I definitely suggest going back to my first NTOP live. I believe it's entitled, um, basically the same title as this one, but I think it was part one. But I showed how you could take, um, in that case, it was simulation results that we imported from another tool, but we could do simulation results from um, within NTOP, basically. So the same using uh, this, let's jump into this ramp block, and really it's just creating your simulation results and instead the input into the scalar field. So, and the question, um, able to change the spatial orientation of the gyroid, um, kind of think maybe asking to like vary the periodicity a little bit, cell size. Um, again, I showed that in my first NTOP live. So um, maybe your question will be answered to that. But again, it's just kind of using this concept of remap field in which we can assign new values of our X, Y, and Z coordinates within our structure. So if I jump, pop open this info panel, We'll see a description of what exactly that remap field is doing. Um, I also will be providing this um, this file right here, showing how kind of using the simple math equation here to start controlling the flow channels of our structure here. Uh, okay, someone said they cannot find the first video. So where can you find it? If you go to YouTube and Topology, um, I believe there should be a 
we have all of our untop lives there and it'll be field driven design part one if actually we might link that video with um this one following the when you access the recording just so that you can have access to both So as I mentioned, um, our CTO, Blake Corder, his video also goes into a lot of this stuff as well, and you could find that video on our YouTube site as well. Uh, okay, not asking about periodicity, so this is going back to um, spatially varying, changing the XYZ of the gyroid relative to the XYZ of the part. So you're kind of asking like rotating it. Um, let me show you a quick way you can do that. Just my first thought in doing so. Um, let's start from scratch here. Let's grab a cube. So here we have our part. What I can do is let's rotate this object. Rotate about its center. And let's rotate around the Y axis. Let's just do 90 degrees. So you see our original structure here. And then I rotated it. And so what I could do is if I had another part or something that I want to apply this rotated TPMS structure to, I could really just, we're just going to use a cube here, but I could just take my rotated TPMS structure and then intersect it with um, this new structure here. So we have this rotated, we can kind of show you the original orientation of it. You can kind of see how it originally was, but then I rotated it and intersected it with my new geometry. So um, this is obviously just on a simple cube, but you could do this with any of your part geometries. So will that same procedure work with the curvy structure you showed previously? Yes. So what we could do is, so I have my, my curvy structure here. Um, and what I could do is I could just take that final structure, my curvy structure and rotate it and then um, apply the same concept really. Or I could also start working in some remap. Um, yeah, okay. So if there are any more questions, I'm gonna to start to wrap things up. Um, Please make sure to continue attending these live sessions, which I think we're still going to be having them Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, so lots of cool stuff coming out. Don't miss out. Um, thank you all for your time.